Nung bumalik kami ng Canada, syempre, excited akong makita ulit ng mga kaibigan at dati kong mga katrabaho na nurse. And, of course, ang unang tanong nila sa akin, ano, balik ka na ba sa work? Alam mo, marami akong gustong ishare tungkol dito kasi I had to make a big decision. Let's talk about it. Hi, this is Sally, a nurse turned entrepreneur. And I moved to Canada for a better future. And for many years, nursing was my life. Pero I made a choice. A choice na nagbago ng buhay ko. I left nursing and I transitioned into entrepreneurship kasi gusto kong mag-spend ng time sa mga kids ko. Kaya nung bumalik kami ng Canada from the Philippines, I met my old friends and colleagues na dati kong mga kasamahan sa ospital. Iba-iba na rin ang path na tinahak nila. Maraming nag-shift sa home care kasi nga daw, same lang naman ang rate kahit mas chill pa ang work. Di tulad sa ospital na super busy. Meron ding iba na nagda-travel nursing na kasi ang laki daw talaga ng sweldo. Sagot pa lahat ng mga travel expenses, mga ganun, pati mga tirahan mo, at ang dami nilang na-share tungkol sa mga perks ng nursing ngayon. Pero nung tinanong nila ako kung babalik pa ba ako, my answer was clear, hindi na. Honestly, hindi ko naman sinasabi na madali yung decision ko na iwanan ang nursing. I remember when I quit, I made a promise sa sarili ko na hindi na ako babalik sa pagiging employee. I burned my bridges, so to speak. I valued my freedom more and I wanted to spend time with my kids and do the things I love. Para sa akin, hindi na lang ito tungkol sa sahod. It's about creating a life na hindi lang umiikot sa trabaho. And to be honest, isa pang dahilan kaya hindi ako makabalik agad kahit gusto ko man matagal ko nang hindi na na-renew ang license ko. Kailangan ko pang mag-refresher course para ma-renew ito. Pero kahit pwede kong gawin yon my heart is no longer in nursing. My husband and I are on the same page. We value our freedom and we want to spend our time doing what we love. And kung magtatrabaho man kami, we want it to be something we enjoy. Something that Does it feel like work? Pero alam nyo, it's hard not to be tempted minsan. Sabi ng mga dating kasamahan ko, ang laki talaga ng sweldo sa travel nursing. You get to see new places, travel and explore, at sagot pa lahat ng gastos mo. Plane ticket, accommodation, at minsan, pati expenses ng buong pamilya mo. Imagine that. If you love to travel, it's an amazing opportunity, di ba? It's like hitting two birds with one stone, earning a great salary while enjoying new adventures. But then again, naalat ko yung dahilan kung bakit ako umalis in the first place. Yes, the salary is tempting, pero na-realize ko ano nga ba ang value ng malaking sahod kung kapalit nito ay ang oras ko sa pamilya ko. Oras ko para gawin yung mga bagay na gusto ko. Gusto namin na husband ko. We wanted a life na hindi umiikot lang sa trabaho. Ewan ko, part din siguro ng adulting stage na na marirealize mo kung ano na ang gusto mo a priority sa buhay yung mga bagay na mas importante para sa iyo may mga kakilala kami na nagsasabing nakakasawa na daw yung puro trabaho trabaho bahay na lang sila wala nang oras sa mga bagay na mas importante kaya ng family time minsan naapektuhan na rin ang health nila ganun din yung mga kids nakatutok lagi sa cellphone makakapal na yung mga salami nila bata pa lang those are the things na priority namin talaga is our time with our kids tutukan talaga sila hindi rin kasi biro ang pagpapalaki ng mga bata ngayon especially during this time with phones and social media. Mga bata ngayon nagkaka-anxiety at depression na. But according to research, it is linked to prolonged exposure to social media. So, as parents, we are very strict sa pagpapagamit ng mga phones sa mga bata. These days, marami kaming na-observe lalo na pag kumakain sa labas. Yung mga bata, nakatutok sa phone, sa cellphone, habang kumakain sila. Wala nang interaction. I mean, the whole time, yung parents kumakain, yung mga anak nila nanonood, nakatutok sa cellphone. Isingit ko lang ano, kasi I've been doing some research about this topic. For those who are not aware, maraming epekto ang paggamit ng cellphone sa mga bata. Number one is screen addiction. Maapektuhan ang kanilang mental health, ang kanilang pag-uugali. Magiging grumpy sila. 
magkaka-insomnia, eye fatigue. Kaya kung napapansin ninyo, napakaraming mga bata na ngayon ang may salamin, di ba? They will have slow brain development, lack of attention, lack of control, at ito pa ang malala, possibility of brain tumor. Now, I don't mean to scare you with this information, but it is good to know. There is a limited evidence that tumors are caused due to the cell phone radiation. But, As parent, you may want to limit the time your kids use phones to avoid possible risks. I mean, madali naman kasi magpatahan ng bata kapag umiiyak, di ba? Ibigay mo lang yung cellphone, tatahan na yan. Pero, before we do that, we have to know muna kung ano ang epekto nito sa kanila. It's easy to do that, but I encourage you to do what's right, not what's easy. Ngayon, balik tayo dun sa tanong. Babalik pa ba ako sa pagiging nurse? The answer is still no. Pero hindi dahil sa tingin ko masama ang nursing or dahil hindi worth it ang trabaho. Nursing was a huge part of my journey and it gave me so much. Napakarami kong natutunan bilang nurse at napakarami niyang binigay na opportunity sa akin. It will always be a chapter na hindi ko pagsisisihan. Pero ngayon, I'm in a different season in my life. One where I choose freedom over stability, passion over pain, check and time over routine. So, ano na nga ang gagawin ko dito sa Canada kung hindi na ako babalik bilang nurse? Actually, napakarami. Besides sa mga mommy duties, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, my husband and I, we want to work on things that we love. We want freedom and time. So, isa sa mga yon ay ang real estate. Nag-start kami, nag-invest sa real estate about 11 years ago. And we loved it. Marami kami natutunan. It's one way to build generational wealth if you do it right. Another thing that we are working on is launching a new product line here in Canada and hopefully sa US din. Pero that's still in the works. Nasa product development pa lang kami, pero I will update you once everything is all ready. Plus, another thing is I am studying. Alam niyo naman ako, I want to challenge myself and want to learn new things. And since real estate is one of our focus, pinag-aaralan ko ngayon ay financing real estate. How to build wealth through real estate, how to accumulate properties, mga ganun. But don't worry that I will be sharing with you all the things that I will be learning. So, let me know if that's something that you are interested in, okay? And of course, subscribe and click the notification bell para wala kang mamiss na video pag nagpost ako. Alright? I know my decision not to return to my nursing career isn't for everyone. Pero sa akin, this is the path I chose. A life where I have the freedom to create, spend time with family, and pursue the things my husband and I truly love. At the end of the day, it's not about the money. It's about living a life that feels right for us. And that's my final message to you. Always choose happiness. The things that lights you up. Things that feels right for you. Because at the end of the day, that's your life. You get to live how you want to live. How about you? I'd love to hear your story. Comment them in the comment section. And before you click away, watch this video next kung ano ang rason bakit kami bumalik ng Canada. See you there.